Creative Beliefs Dude here. My name is Greg, here um, with another microphone review. So I've been having a little problem lately with my microphone audio, and I thought it was the mic, and I've been getting a lot of static coming through. And I found a way to go ahead and get rid of that static or reduce it to a level that it's not really annoying to the ear, but I really didn't want to have to do that for every single one of my videos. So what I did, is I bought another um, a shotgun mic, and so the first thing I did is I went onto YouTube and it's like, okay, shotgun mic reviews, what should I do? And the, the going consensus is usually, you know, buy nice or buy twice. Um, and a lot of people recommended the Rode and TG4, and so I looked that mic up, and it's like 450 bucks. And you know, I think I'll end up buying twice because at this point, I just don't want to spend that kind of money on a microphone that's only grabbing my audio. So when I was looking for it though, uh, so I started looking on Amazon, I came across the newer NW81, right? So, um, and this one kind of caught my eye because first it was 20 bucks. Second, I've seen some other um, microphone reviews of the newer uh, large diaphragm condenser mics and those got great reviews you know they were comparing them to high-end mics can you hear the difference of course you can were they you know worth 20 times the price maybe not well it depends on your application right but for what I'm doing here I'm just trying to capture some audio so what I did is I bought a little shotgun mic and it's just out of frame here um, so I've got that recording um, up above me, and then I've got, um, it's a little no-name mic that came in a camera kit that I had bought my wife, and but it has way better audio than the on-camera mic on the camera I'm using. So I thought I would A-B those two mics, let y'all listen to what the NW81 sounds like versus a, just a regular um, cheapy camera mic, I think probably something around 20 bucks for one of those and um, see what you think all right so here we go here's the uh, here's the mics packaging um, they don't come with a whole lot in it so this will be really quick this is kind of a um, plasticky case um, not really a good case it feels kind of like a cheap uh, notebook or binder like a three ring binder. That's the that's what it feels like. That cardboardy but even thinner than a cheap one. So you've got instructions. Who needs that? You get the cool thing about this mic is it does have a battery so you can power it and plug it. It comes with a with a tiny uh, eighth inch jack so you can plug it straight in straight into your phone. And then it comes with the uh, wind sock, which I won't need, but I'll kick, I'll keep it kicking around just in case. Uh, it does come with a micro or microphone mount for your regular microphone um, stands. And then you've also got a much longer XLR to quarter inch, which would be okay for going into your audio interface. That cable doesn't look of the best quality, but you know, what do you expect? This is 20 bucks for this whole, whole little bit. Um, and then you also get a, a hot shoe mount for your, um, for your camera. And of course, last but not least, the newer NW81 unidirectional electric condenser microphone so supposedly it's got it's got a couple different modes you got normal which is looks like a regular carotid and telly here if I get that close you can probably see it right so there's the microphone patterns that you'll get with it and I'll probably just run it in normal mode um, actually I might run it in telly because based on Based on that, 
it looks like it would be a narrower um, pickup than than the regular Karata. So, anyway, and then supposedly you can power this thing with a. Well, maybe you can. Oh yeah, you can. There you go. You can power it with a battery, but I won't need to do that because I'll. I'm going to plug this into my audio interface. Um, actually, I might plug it into the audio interface and plug it into the camera and see the difference in that audio. So, anyway. So, without further ado, um, I'll switch to the overhead mic. So now you should be hearing the newer NW81 overhead mic. Um, I'm running this through my Behringer 404 uh, HD interface. And I've probably got the gain set at about 10 o'clock. Um, I, I could crank the gain up and get a lot more signal coming through the mic, but I found when I did that, I got a lot more ambient noise, just kind of dull roar. I mean, it's not completely quiet in here. I, I think what I was hearing was probably my computer fan. Um, so, and I haven't got the most soundproof room. So, I mean, I've got some little bit of audio treatments and these blankets on the wall just to kind of keep the echo down, but that's about it. So, but, so that's the NW81. Heard it, what do you think? Um, better or worse? I'm gonna pick up the guitar and play a quick um, blues progression just to see uh, how it picks up uh, guitar audio versus the on-camera mic. Well, not the on-camera mic, but the little shotgun mic that's mounted to the camera so it's it's about three inches to the right of the um, of the lens there and the other one's right up here so I'll play the uh, guitar real quick <laughs> bell so you can see when new stuff comes out because um, I'm doing all kinds of new stuff this year and, and trying to be um, publishing content at least once or twice a week so hope to see you again soon but now that you've heard this go play your guitar Bye.